Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to format cell borders in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now in front of me here, I have a spreadsheet with a, a bunch of default data, uh, a bunch of uh, cell values that come from the NFL season. And whenever you create a default worksheet in Excel, the values will be displayed here on screen with white backgrounds on the cells and these faint gray lines all around each cell. Now those faint gray lines don't show when you print, they're only there as a visual cue to instruct you as to where a certain cell begins or ends. But a lot of times if you want to add some more pop or some more definition to a spreadsheet, you need to add some extra formatting. And one significant way that you can do that is by adding cell borders. First of all, let me give you an example of this. I'm going to go up here to this cell and select it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go up to the Home tab which opens by default as the uh, selected tab in Excel. And I'm going to go down to the font section. And here you'll see we have this, this border button. And by default, it's, it comes up with bottom border selected. And it looks like a little dotted box with a solid border at the bottom. And when I click on that, and then I click off of the cell, you'll see that now I have a nice clean border that's been placed at the bottom edge of this cell. There are a lot of other options that we have here as well, but the bottom border is usually the one that comes up by default. I'll select another cell here. When I do that, this time, instead of clicking on the board, uh, bottom border button itself, I'm going to click this small down arrow. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up a whole host of other options that I have for changing the borders. So you'll see when I do this that I can put a top border, a left border, a right border. I can erase existing borders on the cells. I can put borders around every cell that's in the selection. I can outline it, I can do a thick outline, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we have, have a lot of different options here for providing a very finite degree of detail with regards to the borders that are on any given cells. So if I go back over here, maybe I decide that I want everything here on the left to have a border on, on the right side. So I can select from the drop down here and go to right border. And now you'll see that I have this line along the right hand side for every one of those rows or every one of those column, those values, excuse me. If I want to get rid of it, I can go back here and select this column again and go up here and click no border. And now I'm back to where I was with only the single border on this cell. Now, a lot of times if you have a table like this with headers, for example, you might want to make sure that each header has a, has a line underneath it. So I can select this entire row and then go up to my border button <clears throat> and from the drop down I'll select bottom border. You might even decide that at the bottom of this maybe you're going to create totals so at the bottom of this I want to have a thicker border. We can do that here with thick bottom border and now you can see where it's visually a thicker border there than we would have with this default bottom border up here. Now we have some other options as well. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these cells again and I'm going to click my drop down menu here and if we go down past all these canned options <clears throat> you notice that we also have the option here to draw borders so I'm going to select draw border and notice my cursor changes it looks like a little pencil now and this is a, a very fast and efficient way for me to add borders to a spreadsheet if I don't, don't want to have to keep selecting each cell one by one and then adding a different type of formatting so you'll see I can come here and I'll hold down the left mouse button now I have a right border there and maybe I want these only these cells to have a border at the bottom there and I can basically draw my way through the document now when I hold down the left mouse button if I hold it down here and then drag it across laterally across cells you'll see it'll start to create this outline border across the entire selection we have other options here and notice that even after I take my mouse button up, I still have the pencil here. It's still in draw border mode, and it will stay that way until I turn it off. So I can go back here to my drop down menu, and I can turn it off. Now I have my regular cursor where I just select cells. Now there are other ways to draw borders as well. <clears throat> you notice that the option underneath this one is to draw border grid. This does the same thing, except that if I grab a block of cells like this and drag it over, you'll see it automatically fills in all the borders on the inside of that selection. Whereas when I grab this selection up here, all it did was outline the outside area of that selection. 
but the draw border grid creates a grid of outlined cells across the entire piece that I've selected. You can also come up here and selectively erase borders. So I'm going to change this tool from the draw border grid tool to the erase border tool. And now I'm going to very selectively go through and notice once again that my cursor changes. Now it looks like a little eraser. And I'm going to say, no, get rid of that, get rid of these. It's just a way to quickly get rid of groups of cell, cell borders without having to go through and select each individual cell in a time consuming manner. Also, when you go here, you also have an option for line color. Obviously, by default, the line color is black, but we can set that to any other number of colors. I know that's scrolling off the screen right now, but let's just go here and select orange. And now, I'm going to change my tool back to draw border. And when I draw these borders, you see that I have orange borders instead of black. And then finally, I'm also going to look at line style. By default, of course, the line style is going to be a single thin line, but there's a whole other host of options that we can select. And again, I know that's scrolling off the screen, but you might be able to see a few of them there. Instead, for example, I'll pick this fine dotted line. And now, when I create these, you'll see that the style of the line itself is different than the previous style, because now we have that fine dotted line. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for using ShowMeAcademy.com.